Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an experimental haircut video because I have two old Tatum wigs that I want to repurpose because they've been sitting in a bag in my closet for years now, actually for years. I've been wearing the Tatum wig in brunette colors since the fall of 2013, which was my freshman year of college, and I've been purchasing the exact same wig in the same color about every four to six months for the last like three years. So obviously I have a lot of old ones. So one of them I'm going to cut into a pixie cut in this video, and the other one, leave in the comments below suggestions or requests what you would like to see me cut it into. I only really have experience cutting the Tatum from its original state to like a Cody length. If you don't know what the Cody looks like, it's this. And I used to always wear the Cody, so that's what I learned to cut hair on. So now whenever I cut any hair, I always automatically cut it to the Cody. So this is the first time I'm ever actually going to try to cut something not into the Cody. So wish me luck. I should maybe pull up a photo for reference or something. So here are the two wigs that I have to trim. They are exactly the same as you can see. I just washed them so they're a little bit tangly and still drying a little bit. So first I'm going to show you what the two wigs look like before I do anything to them. Now, whenever a wig starts to get old, I always trim it a little at the end of its lifespan, so both of these have already been trimmed a tiny bit. And with age, wigs get kind of flat, so this one's kind of flat and matted and frizzy. So I think this will be the one that I trim, because I think this is the rattier one of the two. But let me show you the other one, just so you can see what the two look like. So this one is definitely a little bit shorter than the other one, so I definitely trimmed this one a lot more last time I cut it. And you know what? I think I actually love the way this looks as it is. Okay, so now to trim the other wig of the two. Yeah, in comparison, this one does look ever so slightly moppier. Neither of them are in horrible shape, like I said, but since they've been in my closet in the bag for years anyway, eh, uh, might as well do something to them, repurpose them. All right, let's get started.
can't believe how long I've been recording this video for. It's been like almost an hour, honestly. I had like one 20 minute clip and then a half hour clip. But here's how it looks so far. I might do more. I'm so not used to seeing this short length on myself, but let's show all the way around. Also so I can make sure there's no choppy pieces in the back. It's hard to do the back when you're wearing it, but luckily if you're cutting a wig like I am, you can just take it off and check. I actually don't tend to cut my wigs on wig heads because they kind of slip all over the place. Obviously you could pin them in place to help with that, but I think it's easier to get a feel for what's going to look like on my actual head and face if I cut it while it's on. It's a little choppy in some places, but I think the style kind of calls for choppiness, so I don't think that's a big deal. The more I look at it, the more I can't decide whether I like it or not, the more indecisive I feel. But I think I'm happy with the actual cut. I think it's not too choppy. It's not too weird. But I just don't know how I feel about the style on myself. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this cut. A, what you think of the actual cut job. What you think I should fix. The back may be a little long, but not too bad. And also let me know what you think of this style on me. Because I don't know if I love it. I don't hate it. But I don't know if I would really choose to wear this wig over another longer wig. But at least I'm learning, you know? You can't learn how to cut hair until you try to cut hair, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.